going to Disneyland. So I'm making something next. Hey guys, welcome back to the corner. It's me, Jeff, and I'm kind of excited this week because I'm going on holidays. I'm going to Disneyland, the most happiest and expensive place on earth. My wife asked me to make her something, so I'm gonna try and tackle that. And it's also kind of a cool idea. I'm gonna do some multicolor printing using Prusa Slice's paint feature. Um, all of this, that will be part of it, but we're gonna tackle what's next, okay? I'm going to Disneyland with the family, and the wife asked me to make something for her, so I figured I'd make her some custom ears. So I went on the Thingiverse, and I just typed in Disney ears, and there's a ton of different little designs and stuff. So I figured it would be fun to do my own take on it. So what I ended up doing was I ended up, um, I'm going to download a um, blank ear and a blank ear template, like a hollow. So uh, what I'm going to try to do is um, create kind of like a stained glassy effect, um, see-through and solid at the same time. So we're going to see how that goes. So I'm going to go into... Um, Tinkercad, and I'm going to import a few things that I'm going to need. So I'm going to import the fill deer, and what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to drop this down to the height that I'm printing at, which is a 0 0.2 layer height. Perfect. Then I'm going to import the frame for the ear. Okay. And we are going to hopefully line this sucker up. So just make sure you're lined up properly. Um, isometric view works really well here. That should be pretty much perfect. Uh, then we're just going to combine those. Depending on whether you want a left-sided ear or a right-sided ear will depend on kind of how you do this, right? So. So let's work on a, um, I guess this would be a right-sided ear or a left-sided ear, depending on which way you're looking at it. Um, so I'm going to do a Chewbacca ear. So I'm going to um, import this uh, Chewy belt, import. And it's going to be super, super simple, easy. Um, I'm just going to show you the basic technique here, and then I'll show you kind of a couple of examples that I have done. There we go. So I now have the belt imported. It's actually pretty much where I need it, funny enough. Um, we're just gonna hit, hold down the shift key and scale this appropriately. Uh, we'll probably go a little bit bigger. There we go. That looks pretty good. So yeah, um, so now we have that inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drop this down so it's zero. Minus 0 0.1 underneath, and then I'm going to make the height. Um, so I have a 0 0.2 layer height dropped by one, um, maybe a, a 0 0.4. All right, and that is a Chewbacca ear. I should be able to see both sides of it. Let me just uh, export as an STL. And then I'll open it up. Now you can change the name if you want, whatever. I'm going to open this up in Prusa Slicer right now. This guy here, yeah, Chewbacca here. So if you can see that, it's got the, the pattern inside. So I'm going to do this on the Vox Lime Aquila, which is a single extruder. Um, and I'm going to make it dual color, but it's not going to be layered dual color. Now, this is a really cool feature with Prusa Slicer is you actually get to paint. But you got to do a few things first. So what you're going to do is go into printer setting where it says um, you're going to want to be on expert mode. Um, you're going to go to capabilities under general and extruders. We want two colors for this. Now you want single extruder multi-material. You want that checked off because that's going to tell it that you're extruding through a single extruder, okay? Um, then you're going to go into custom G-code and um, where it says tool change G-code, you're going to add an M600 command. So that's going to tell it that it needs to change tools. You already have it for a filament change down here, but that would change filament. So you'd be printing 
and you change filament so if you did different layers at different colors but we're actually doing it on the same layer so that's why you need to do the tool change here so if we go back to platter now we're going to see that we have the generic we have two colors here to choose from so i'm just going to change this a little bit i'm going to do my first color as brown because chewbacca is brown and i'm going to do my second color as silver or gold or silver i guess because his bandolier i believe is silver so now the fun part about this now is we get to paint. So this is the ear. You can kind of see the, the lines and layers there. If I flip it around, you can see them on the other side. So you should be able to um, grab this paint icon. Here, let me just um, scroll so it's easier for us to see. Um, generally, I just use the Smart Fill function. It kind of works well for me. Um, now you got your first color and your second color. So it's right mouse click. Um, Sorry, left mouse click and right mouse click. Um, so we're going to color all these suckers in here for Chewbacca. And, whoops. And that's okay. If you do that, you can just revamp it by clicking the other colors or hitting the back button. Um, I think I'll add a ring of silver around here. I think that will look sharp. That looks good, right? So now, I want this to be, the whole point of this is to kind of be see-through, and we're going to do it on the back side here too for Chewie as well. So we'll just cut all that. Um, go like that, and go like that. Oops, see, again, I made that mistake, but that's okay. So Chewbacca has his bandolier from the front, you can see it visible from the back. Um, We've got our two extruders. We're printing at 0.2 millimeter layer height, so this will be like one layer down. So um, you, your, your, your first level is gonna be really super important here. Um, so I'm gonna slice this. So here's my slice thing. Now my question is, how do you know what, um, what color you're gonna need to load first? Right, because there's your first layer. Is it going to load the silver or the brown? So you're just going to want to pull this back here and see what it does. So it go, you're, you're going to need to load your brown first and then your silver. Okay. Now, also, if you go here and you pull this back here, let's see if I can find the actual tool change command there. There should be a M600 in here somewhere. Uh, M600. So, yeah, sorry, I had to find that. So, as you can see here, it finishes the toolpath here, um, which is right there, and it starts a wipe, and it ends its wipe, and it goes to filament-specific NG code, and then it does an M600. And you set your temperature, and let's see here. Um... Once you do all that, it will start to change to the silver. All right, and that's your first layer. So I'm gonna run this off as a print right now, and we're just gonna call this um, Chewy. All right, should be about an hour and a half or so. Okay, so I'm finished probing the bed. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna home, and then it's gonna do a purge line that it doesn't really need because it's instantly going to um, ask for some filament. All right. So as you can see here, it's basically, it's going to be unloading the filament that you don't have. Now you can always edit this in G-code, but it's going to basically ask you to um, add your right filament at this point in time. So we're still doing this here. So now it says 
purge more filament. So you want to check your color, right? Make sure. Um, my little extrusion is seems to be gray, so I'm gonna go okay. I think I'm fine. So you're gonna hit cancel, and then it's gonna go back. And then print. So you want to watch out for um, like strings and strands and stuff like that because you don't want that, right? This bit video. Mm -hmm. See, I'm starting to go in with that. Printing away. Mr. Chewbacca. Color change with Chewbacca. There she goes. Yeah. Put that little fluffy bit off. There you go. Yeah, you, you do have to babysit it a little bit, but it does work rather well. It allows you to get some really cool prints. So, this is my Chewbacca here now. You see, I got a bit of a... Didn't quite have a perfect level bed, so I had to go back and give it a little bit more squish. Um, you see it's tearing apart a little bit. So I went back, I reprinted it, and I got this here. All right? So my squish is a lot better. And then that ended up with this. And as you can see... It's translucent or transparent anyways because it's only one level which is really cool and basically what you do is we um, just grab this headband off the dollar store we printed these I'll leave the links down below in the description a little bit of velcro we're gonna put a little bit of velcro in here and match them up now remember this was printing well that's kind of what I've done so far Same sort of thing, right? Is that, oops, Cheshire Cat, three color, um, Haunted Mansion 2. Now, they, these were um, the Haunted Mansion, this, this, these were all kind of like my first ones until I kind of figured out how to do the system, right? But that's nice and see through. Grape soda is nice and see through. The Moana one. The Wally one. Again, Space Mountain was one of the other ones that I did at the very beginning. And kind of my personal favorite, the Muses from Hercules. But yeah, so super easy, super simple. Do some really cool stuff with it. All right. Um, I'm off to Disneyland. Uh, as I say, I'll leave the links down below for all of this stuff. So if you like this video, click on the subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. And until next time, guys, I'm on holidays. See ya.